morning guys today I've got an update for you guys on the LM753 build for the truck today's gonna be kind of a uh, vlog style video I'm just gonna I'm gonna get in the truck at a couple errands I gotta run and uh, we'll talk about where I'm at in as far as where I'm at with the build and what's coming up this weekend which is big so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all right so coming up this Saturday I'm going to be down in Greensboro. Um, I finally found the shop that is going to tune the truck once the new motor is in it. And um, while I was talking to them, they just so happened to have a slot open for some dyno pools this Saturday. And uh, I'm gonna be going down there and we're gonna run as it is here stock. I may put stock wheels on the back. One reason is it may not even fit on the dyno rollers because of its width. Uh, the other reason is they kill, you know, they're going to kill a lot of power. I kind of want to know what the truck would make in its stock form, you know, if we if we got rid of the big tires and just ran stocks, um, which if I ever took it to a drag strip, I would do anyway. So uh, I'm going to put probably stocks on the rear when we get to the dyno, or I may drive down there on stocks. It just depends. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be in Greensboro this Saturday and uh, going to figure out much it makes you know on its factory motor in here with just what little I've done bolt-ons and see this is good too because this is going to give us an idea on you know what all this stuff I've done to it like the tune the exhaust um, and take all that what it's going to make you know at the wheels I'll, I'll finally know you guys will finally know I know that's been a huge question since almost the beginning of my channel uh, people have asked what I made I've got no idea I've never known you know and I so this this would be great to finally figure this out so i'm going to be at nice up motorsports in greensboro um i'll post something up on instagram if i know i've got a lot of people around that area if some people show interest and y'all want to meet up maybe we could maybe i could find somewhere public uh you know maybe like the mall down there or something and we can kind of have a little small meetup or whatever and i can meet some of you guys you guys can see the truck i don't want to meet there at uh, the shop because that's it's not I didn't ask permission and of course that's it's not my shop you know so um, you know I'll dyno it and then maybe I'll go somewhere public and meet some people if people are interested we're gonna be in the area on Saturday so go follow me over on Instagram at Austin 04 underscore Z71 I'm gonna post the stuff up there and we'll try I'll try to I'll let you know you know, I'll put it up today. As soon as I finish this video, I'll put up what I'm doing. And if there's enough people showing interest, I'll put a location of where I'm going to go to that Saturday. Now, uh, continuing on with the progress on the 5.3. I know it's been about two weeks since we've really done anything. You know, I did the unboxing video um, with all the parts. And then I had to replace the hub assembly on the truck and everything like that. Um, the reason I haven't built it is because I've been working trying to pay for all those parts. <laughs> uh, you know, it's 20, almost $2,400 is what all those parts cost me. And that's not cheap in any world. Uh, so, you know, I've just, I've been picking up some weekend gigs and stuff like that. Just trying to kind of get my money, get my money back. You know, I saved up to buy those parts, of course, but I wasn't going to give up some weekend work, especially given holidays are coming and I just spent all that money um, on the truck parts. So probably this weekend and i said i'm doing the dyno on saturday more than likely sunday i'm going to rebuild it i mean the rest of the way put the top end together so i've got a lot i'm going to do this weekend i'm going to get really far with it because the following weekend i'm working but i'm hoping the weekend of november 11th um i'm gonna put it in that that's the goal and see i've got to talk to the shop when i get down there i've got to try to figure out their appointment schedule I need to see if they're going to let me come on a Sunday, if I can talk them into it, um, because that that would be best because I don't think I'll get it in before Saturday, even if I started on Thursday, which is when I can start. Um, so we're, I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure we can have the motor in by Sunday, and that's what I'm going to bank on, and I'm going to try to make an appointment for Sunday. If not, I'll make an appointment for Monday. And I'm still up in the air um, about try to drive it down there with cam I'm not gonna put the injectors in obviously until we get there but I'm still up in the air if I'm gonna drive it down there or I'm gonna trailer it um, the trailer that I have access to really isn't designed to hold this kind of weight it is it's a car trailer but it, it I, 
it's not mine and I'd be afraid of maxing it out and blowing tires or whatever with this kind of weight on it going down to Greensboro. So I might try to go and get like a U-Haul trailer or something and might tow this thing down there. So I mean, that's just some logistics I've got to figure out. But, you know, three weeks, motor's going in. That's the plan. Um, it's finally here. Every All the parts and pieces are here. It's ready. And I'm excited. You know, and I know you guys are too. I've kept the playlist updated in the channel. If you go and you scroll down to the, you just go to my channel on the first page you see, the home page. Down, you scroll down just a little bit, it says 5-3 build. And all the videos up to this point are in that playlist from the beginning. Um, so if you're not caught up or you missed something, you can go in there and find a video, watch it. And of course, that'll just kind of be um, you know, a scrapbook per se of this whole build anyway. So you can go back and look at the, the past. So um, that's about where I'm at with that. Um, I've had a couple people ask me about the LM7, I mean the LM7, the uh, Duramax, I was thinking LML, uh, about the Duramax when I was going to buy one. I know I made the video a while back of trying to buy one and this was about the time I was going to. Um, a couple of things about that and today's video was actually going to be why I hadn't bought one yet, but after I got off the phone with the shop, I wanted to make it about, you know, the motor so you guys knew. But um, before I get into the Duramax, if you're not interested in why I didn't buy a Duramax, um, appreciate you watching. I'm going to go down the throne. What, what your guess is on what this thing will make at the wheels down in the comments section below. So do that because I'm kind of curious what people think it's going to make. But anyway, Duramax. So the reason I have not bought a Duramax yet is, uh, for one, I'm not getting rid of this truck. If I could, if I was going to get rid of this truck, I would have, of course, never have bought parts for the motor. And I would have sold this and I would have already bought one because I would have had a, a good down payment. But obviously, I've already said I'm not selling this truck. And since we're building a motor, obviously I'm not getting rid of it. And you know, what I've spent on the motor could have been a down payment for a Duramax, but here's here's a couple problems. One, the motor's extremely old in this truck and its days are numbered. It, there's there's stuff going wrong with it um, that I'm, I'm not fixing because it's, it's not worth it. It's got a small cool leak. I'm gonna have to pull the water pump back off. Um, a couple gaskets where the filter is leak drips oil and it's the simple stuff and I've said enough is enough uh, it's not worth it and I'll just you know since I've got the motor let's just build a good motor for it and do it the other reason is since I'm going to keep it I still want it to be interesting and I still want it to provide content to this channel and this truck is what started this channel it's all I've ever had I don't want to get rid of it and I just want you know and a lot of you guys have this truck and I've helped so many people out and you know, I really want to build this to keep the entertainment going for you guys who are interested in seeing what I can do to this truck. So, uh, back on when I think I'll buy a Duramax, probably first of the year. Uh, once I kind of rebound from the holidays, and you know, that that's about tax return season and everything like that. I got to make sure I get my taxes, everything squared away. And once I see what how I'm looking then, uh, I should be able to buy one by then. I'll have a down payment built back up. So. Uh, there's, there's where I'm going to be at with the Duramax, and there's where we're at with the LM753 build. So like I said, go down in the comments section, drop what you think this truck's going to make uh, as its current setup on the dyno this weekend. Go follow me over on Instagram. If you're down in that area, let me know. And if you're interested in meeting up on Saturday, it'll probably be Saturday afternoon. Um, definitely interested in meeting you guys. I love doing that. And you guys are always bugging me about coming to North Carolina. And I, and I don't always announce when I am. I'm really, I'm really bad about spontaneous saying I'm not going to do it. And the last minute I'll do it. It's kind of like the Nopi situation. A lot of people didn't know I was going. Uh, so letting you guys know in advance. Go let me know on Instagram. Drop a comment down below. Appreciate you guys watching. If you've got any questions, as always, you can throw them in the comment section. Sometimes I miss them. It's better just to DM me on Instagram and ask me any questions you got. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Have a great day.